カハンニャハラミタシンギョウカンジザイボスヨジンハンニャハラミタジショケン You know, it, it was so beautiful, the、uh, ocean, the, the shoreline was our, our playground. We camped there, we had Bonfires, you know, at night. I'm Kei Hanano. I、uh, am the third generation of Reverend Ueoka's family, founding minister Paia Mantokuji. I think the original intent of Reverend Sokyo was to serve the community. And I think that's a theme that has, has permeated throughout our lives. Hirasa Tomoki is. えー、満徳寺の住職をさせていただいております。えー、2022年の4月に、えー、こちらに来まして、えー、5ヶ月経ちました。マウイの方々に愛されているお寺だと思います。たくさんのイベント、えー、例えばお盆ダンス、バザー、その他のたくさんのイベントがありまして、えー、とても地域の方々に愛されているお寺だと思います。まだあった海岸というか行ける範囲があったんですけれどもそこももうすでに波によって浸食されていますこの。President of the board, administrative board of Paia Mantokuchi. Up till now, we've been able to manage smaller scale projects, you know, building renovations, maintenance work. But when it came to shoreline erosion, we realized that was going to include a lot of different agencies, state and county agencies, and、um, a lot of technical expertise that we needed. So we, we knew early on that we needed help. And one of the first things we did was get in touch with、uh, Oceanit. It's one of the smartest things we did. Montecuji is situated on the north shore of Maui in Paia town. So there's, there's a natural underlying erosion in Montecuji Bay, and part of that is due to sea level rise. And that area is subject to high wave energy events, as well as the underlying geology is this alluvium material, which is like this red clay、uh, type of consistency. And that material is especially erosive、um, under wave attack. But there is unnatural elements to this too. That being the existing armoring in the bay. And then, two, the history of sand mining in the bay. Obviously, the erosion was getting worse and was approaching the temple.、Uh, Montaguji Board of Directors wanted us to basically do an engineering assessment, come up with a solution. And then help with the permitting process. The permitting process is quite extensive in Hawaii and takes a lot of patience. So ultimately, we ended up leading that process and kind of working through an emergency shoreline protection request from the state and from the county. In the short term, we're putting temporary emergency erosion control stabilization structures. The structures are just intended to protect the escarpment itself, so it's, it's a buffer and it takes the beating of the wave energy and wave action to prevent loss of sediments from behind. Ultimately, you need to be able to allow time for. Long term projects to go through Hawaii's very strict and layered environmental regulations. So, in order for any long term project to be planned right, we need to give these properties some time. So, generally, in coastal hazard adaptation, there's three options protection, accommodation, and retreat or relocation. And 
The board of directors at the Monte Cruzi mission, their consultants are evaluating the feasibility of those three types of options. We're involved from the coastal engineering perspective, looking at means to protect the property against erosion hazards in the future. And of course, we're in the long-term view, we're looking at a nature-based approach. We are really considering beach system restoration as a protection option for Montecucci Bay. A solution for one place isn't necessarily the solution for every place. There's not one straight answer. It's really important to get a variety of different opinions and inputs when developing these solutions for how we as a state want to continue um, and how we want to adapt to sea level rise and climate change. I'm part of the third generation that's been associated with the temple here. It's been an important source of spiritual guidance and uh, we feel a strong obligation to what our grandparents and parents have started and, and, and grown to maintain the temple. We want to have something to hand off to our future generation. So we're working hard now to preserve what we have and maintain the temple here in Paia. To move this temple to another place would not have the same, same effect or feeling. It's just about this place that is so uh, serene and, you know, so calming that um, makes it so special. And so um, it's worth saving. I hope a solution can be found to allow Mantokuji to continue to exist in this beautiful and spiritual place. Here is one of the Zen words, Nanakorobi Yaoki, means don't give up. If you fall seven times, get up eight times. <laughs>